Oh, I broke my line. I think they're hoping for a bite, Daddy. So am I today, boys. I guess we're in this together. Y'all looking for a little bite? You got to fish hard to get a bite. Big it. Stay on, baby. Stay on, baby. Come on. Come to daddy. God dang! Gerald, come on! He ain't much, but he's one, baby. One gets to five, right? Big and stay on, baby. Sweet Jesus, stay on. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, happy anniversary, Lulu, 17 years today. I'm gonna make it up for you, honey. I done lost one big one, but I ain't losing no more. That is on a prowl. Three pounds. Whew. I don't think he's 12, but I'm gonna check him. Number three. Three quarter pounder. Like a hamburger. <laughs> Thank you.
life changes. Woo! Oh! Had to pay the cold break to find it. Now we get something. Mm -hmm. That's his daddy giving him his way in back. Look who your bag man is. He's a hard worker today. Well, he was telling me how he learned that not because of you today. <laughs> Working on that farm, you break, you break them hay bales enough. You learn to tie a knot. Yeah, you got to tie it right or you get in trouble. First bite of the morning, a little bit of a trap. He liked that much coming in. I mean, he was just took to the gun line. Kind of line hey. It was fun. It was addicting just watching. We are yeah. watching you going. Come on, Lulu. How you been today? I'm good. I got you an anniversary piece. I see that. We got one pound and a half, or we just they're all in here. Aren't yeah, they? he was bound and determined he wanted to ride with us. And this is choppy, I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it was all right. My wife and I's 17th anniversary, and that first bite I got wasn't exactly how I wanted to kick off anniversary. I'm like, well, this ain't gonna be good. But you know, sometimes things go wrong early like that. You lose a key fish trying to boat flip them, and it's it's nothing you can do about it. You can second guess it. You can rethink it. You just kind of gotta retie, keep your head down, and just keep fishing. And I was able to trigger another big bite and catch it. So. That was Lulu's 17th anniversary. Here's my lovely wife right here running the camera. 17 years being married to me, she needs some type of award. I mean, I'm the guy that rides a moped in my underwear through the subdivision. I mean, this woman's put up with more than any school teacher's ever done in her life. I go to church and get in trouble with this woman. It's crazy, but I knew what going out today, Hank, man had to put his head down and catch 13 or 14 just to stay in it. Neely Henry's notorious for you know making you stumble and you fish the Coosa River enough to know it, it happens a lot. You can get one or two good days and then stumble. And I was like, I can't do that. I got to keep grinding. I figured out a few things. It was a, a, a long, tough day. It's been a long time since I caught a lemon early and said, I'm going for it. Regardless of the outcome, I'm going for the win. And I did that today. I knew what I had to do. I just go out tomorrow and try to do it again. You are still in it right now in second place, and we will see you in the morning. Up. Um, All I want to do is narrow that narrow that margin that I had for 14 and they had 917. You just want to keep narrowing that margin so Right. They so many people started up here this morning. Yeah, was I left. I didn't make it five minutes, dude. I was about eleven. Floral, it's just sometimes but that's all the little things that you just kinda of gotta continually learn, like you know, if I had have done that, like I'm sitting in the top day 20. one, yeah, you're you sitting know, in the top one, twenty. I'm using fluorocarbon, and it's a different story. Like, and I hear crazy. people all the time. It's like, man, I throw my buzz bait on Bray, and I'm like, okay. You just got cobra clutch, son. You just got cobra clutch. Stretched out. Tap out, boy. Tap out. Tap out. Tap out. I will get you by the sack. Give me a roof roof or I'll bite you on your own. Oh God, he went to digging in his collar just cook my nipple flame on. Oh, I got this off the nipple. Oh, I got my nipple caught in his collar. Oh God, I lost the nipple.
No, no, that was just good. I was impressed. I, I sat out at home and I'm like, that's impressive. Appreciate it, man. I'm going to catch somebody. I got two minutes. I got two minutes. You better do it. You better yeah. do it. Great job. Great job. I got one minute. I got one minute. <laughs> Thanks, bro. All back. <laughs> run, Forrest. Run, run. 628. Two minutes. Get them, Hammer. Seriously, I'm rooting for you more than you know. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm just going to grind. They bite, they bite. This man will hear Buzz biting his slate for the next six years. Uh, He'll hear it Buzz biting his slate for the next six years. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he slurped it down pretty good. Go. I said it sounded like somebody pooping in an airport. It was a lot worse than it sounded. <laughs> Do you believe that? Mm -hmm. Day three. Neely Henry going into lap that round. Got to make top ten. Box a pound and a half spot. Waters fell about ten inches overnight. Fished down my best stretch of grass. Got to my first deeper bank. Caught one. It's fell six, eight inches in here since yesterday. Which, you know, can work to your advantage. <clears throat> can work to your advantage, like I said, because it puts them fish on the outside of the grass, like that one right there. Yeah. So I'm expecting more bites. Pound two. Expecting more bites on the outside of the grass, like that fish right there was. Like they just pulled right to the front of it. So you'll see me slowing that bait down even further out in front of it. These feathered out tips like this. It's the last thing they got to hang on to. Broke my rod, broke my line. Got my line. Is he still on there? Yes. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> what a broke pole. That's why you slack line. He ain't big, but I broke all my toys and I got a bass. <laughs> just got to keep your head in the game, man. Yeah. See, I could have very easily just give up. Here's your test of music. I just said this was right where I want to be. I'm going to hit you with a chorus. And that's right where I want to be. You remember that Gary Allen song? You mean you ain't out here watching airplanes? Yeah, yeah. I knew you had it, dog. I knew you had it. Now, I ain't going to get none by you. I like you. You know music.
Son, I hope I make it. I'm telling you, I was struggling like my grandma when she used to roll around that wheelchair uphill to church in the gravel parking lot, son. I mean, I was, I fought that thing like Floyd Mayweather. I punched and swing, I buzz baited, I water plopped. Everything I had, Hank just left. It just ended and I knew I had to make some adjustments. I just kept trying to move around and I, I literally had seven pounds up to the last 20 minutes and I, I said, I gotta do one thing to try that if, it, if it's ever gonna work, this is gonna work right here. And my camera guy's like, man, just keep grinding. We got, you know, we got 25 minutes and five minute run in and I, I tried it and I caught a three and a two and a half. And I thought, well, that's what it's all about. So if there's any kids out there, if you ever wanna fish and you think your days are tough and all that, let this be a lesson. Never, ever give up or quit. Because at that time, it would have been real easy for me just to pull the trolling motor up and say, hey, I'm just going to take it in the shorts they got me today. And I just kept grinding and grinding and grinding. So that right there come from a, a hard work ethic and being hard-headed, probably given to me by my mom. So happy Mother's Day to my mother and my beautiful wife and my daughter, Whitney, and all the moms out there who got your kids fishing and hunting and being outdoors. We need more of that. There's a lot of single moms out there that have to load their children up and carry them fishing, and that's what it's all about. Dad, I expect you to. Mom, I appreciate you doing it, because without y'all guys, we're not going to have more guys on the water. We need everybody we can out there to buy product, to fish, to enjoy what we enjoy. I don't want you to get all jacked up like I did today, because you get gray hairs, and you start to stutter when you talk, so don't do that. It looked like I was eating paint chips over there trying to cull. But I'm, I hope I make it, Hank. I want to come back out and do it again tomorrow. I love fishing this little body of water. It's a grind. What a crowd, Gaston. Give it up, you guys, for North yourself. Alabama's for awesome, time. Right That's right. Thank you, Gerald. I think we'll be seeing you one more day. 23. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see this old big one. Hell, I ain't seen a big yeah. Is that the one you just called? No, that was the, like a four or a 380. Damn, son, you must have got a few of them to bite the frog. <laughs> but it wouldn't come at all? I'll take your phone. My birthday's tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So what yeah. 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 Trying to make it. I heard you say something about every one of them over 10 pounds. I fished it here my whole life. That's the same dad. Thank you, brother. <laughs> I'm Carl Lane's husband. Okay. There you go. <laughs> you signed a shirt too. Yeah. I'm gonna sign it. Give a shirt to my boy. All right. That's better. There you go. Thank you, man. Let's get a picture real quick. Yep. I'm gonna sign this man's hat. Take a picture of this young man right here. Feel smile first. Come on. Hey, Burger. Nice, nice to meet you, meet you man. man. All right. What do you, what do you think? This is pretty cool. This, this is, cool, is your man. people. It is. Now, Gas has been great to us. I think 99.9% of people from Gas want to know when the water is open. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's one thing about bass fishing. These guys eat. They travel. Oh yeah. They they in and out. So like, when I seen the title, I'm like, well, that makes perfectly good sense. Because all these guys hunt, fish, their kids play baseball, soccer, and they hit you, stop by and grab a water burger. And I'm like, I'm like, whoever thought of that smart? I'm not gonna say. It's you. Pleasure meeting you guys. You got it, man. Thank you. Get your picture. There you go. There's your pen back, sir. I'm good. There you go. All right. Here we go. Those are handmade. Handmade. Look at that. That's my own design. Made that. Day four, four. What well, we call this? The fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, boys. It's the time when you start doing work. You want to say success is not owned; it's rented, and rent is due every day.
Free slurpees, passing out free slurpees. Big one. What? 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 We mm. Jesus be with all them kids down in hunger in school. Can you say Joseph? Stand down, son, stand down. That's number four. That's three and a half. Got some strands hanging down there like my beard. Just one or two long ones. Drive me crazy. We've been live, still in live next. Zoom Z Crawl Jr. You can put that on a cracker. Yeah, that's five. I got five on it. Whoo! That's five, man. That's five. That's five. Make sure we're right on that. I'm gonna put that little end on the buoy, okay? Little one, he's just a little guy. Won't even help us. I don't know if he'll call my little one or not, but I'm gonna look. in every little gap right there in that current. That Nicole. That Nicole, son. Now we're working on that sack. Start, so. Tiny Tim, as my buddy Scott would say, there's Steve. <laughs> But son, I like catching them. You hear me? I like catching Steve's, Larry's, Frito Lay's. I don't know if he'll call or not. Do you? Pretty close. Neck dumb. Spotted bass. I'm not real sure if I'll use this or not. <laughs> and I look awful. And I'm sitting out here listening to praise and worship music and talking with God. And I am working out, trying to keep my nerves under control because I'm just a nervous, 
for Gerald today and I just I want so bad for him to be proud of himself and to be proud of his finish and I can feel God's blessings on us this week. We're blessed all the time but I especially feel his presence this week and I know if it's God's will that this is his first elite twin. I know that nothing will stop it and I'm having faith in that but still get still get the nervous belly and just trying my best to <clears throat> deal with that but appreciate everybody that is supporting him today I know he has got a ton of people praying for him and we love every one of y'all and like I said I don't even know if I'm gonna use this footage or not but I just felt glad to do it and thought I'd go ahead and knock it out so I'm gonna finish my workout fix me some breakfast and get ready for the day y'all have a great day I sure am proud of you thank you I'm hungry. Did you eat your sandwich? I ate my PB and J this morning. Ain't been fishing up through here like it's all blurred out. No, baby, I've been watching you all day. I don't even know. <laughs> Thank you. You got it. Have a great one. Bye. Uh, well, I ain't gonna win, but we still might have a party. We've been grinding it out. Ain't we? You gotta hustle in this game. It seems like more. This, this place changes so fast too. Jason Christie, he needs them to go 13 pounds and 12 ounces. Looking for 13, 12. This one in the last one now can't call me lazy. Put in my hours, send in voice, and they pay me. I need six rings like MJ and Tom Brady. 15 pounds even. And Gerald Swindle will move into the top of the leaderboard in first place with 54 pounds and two ounces. Gaston, Alabama, your new leader, Gerald Swindle. Beans both big bass, four pounds and an ounce. Four pounds and an ounce right now by Matt Airy. If we can beat that. Three pounds, ten ounces on that big fish. 15 pound even bag today, Gerald. Got you in the lead with 54 2. Well, how about that? I don't normally come out on top of Jason Christie. That guy sitting over there in that hot seat is probably seriously one of the most feared anglers in all of bass fishing. If, you, if you're in a tournament, even if you've got a big lead or where you're at, if that guy's right behind you, whew, you know he's bringing his A game. So, him and I have been head to head a few times, and usually he just takes care of business on me. So, I, I, you know, I was blessed today to get a few key bites. I knew in my heart I had to have 18 pounds. I said it all along. I said, Wes Logan lives here. He's too good a fisherman. He's got things going his way. I knew he was going to catch him. He's a great guy. And I was like, I got to catch 18 pounds. I got to catch 18 pounds. And I just never got that other big bite. I had fun. It's been a great week for me. Uh, I enjoyed all the changes in the water. From the first day, I caught him on a three-quarter ounce bass man spinner bait. And then I caught one four-pounder on a homemade buzz bait. The second day, I ended up having to change everything all the way up again, and I caught them all on a buzz bait. The third day, I come back and I, had, I caught a couple on a buzz bait. I caught one flipping the tube, and then I actually caught two on a, a Rapala Brack crankbait. And then this morning, I caught them all on a swim jig. So there you go. I mean, I got this place dialed in. One thing about Neely Henry's, you can't never quit guessing. And I, I, we're camping right down here. Uh, on, right on the side of the river, and it's an incredible place to be, but I got the access, Hank, I can see the water every day. So when I got in last night, I marked the water, and I'm like, I'm gonna watch this, because it fell out yesterday, 
and all the grass fish were gone. And I got up this morning and the water had come up about seven or eight inches and I'm like, uh-oh, it's about to get real. And me and Jason Christie was talking this morning. He said, what do you think the water did? And I said, it come up about eight inches and he kind of raised his eyebrows like, yep. And I knew there was one stretch of bank that the fish were gonna bite on where to go and I just actually landed on them and got lucky. Uh, this is an event that if you come out on the short end that I didn't fish bad, you just got beat. You know, I didn't make many mistakes. I made some good decisions and I got my family here to watch me, my, my brother, his wife. I got my dad's been able to come, my mom's at home. I got all my great friends come out. So it's cool to fish at home and have a great event. And what a crowd for Monday. I mean, listen, somebody is looking for all their employees right now. Unless I get about $7 donation per person, I'm calling every one of you's workplace right now. I'm going to get, say I got my GoPro on, I've got every one of y'all playing hooky from work, so I'm calling. I don't care where it is. Really good to be in Gaston. Let's we'll sit down and see what happens. That's all I can say. Fished your heart out. He is your new leader. One more round of applause for Jason Christie. Two legends right here. Heavy hitters. Have a seat. G, and we'll see how long you can last there. Not long. You want me to wait for a minute? You want to just <laughs> chill for a second? Sure, we can quit right now. I mean, it's, <laughs> and it don't matter to me to go home early. Y'all just, it's over. <laughs> I tried. The hot seat's good with a hot mic unless Gerald Swindle's sitting there. <laughs> All right, let's welcome in our new angler, our next angler.